Hi there, a very good morning and good afternoon to all of you, depending on wherever you're watching me. This simply talks with another video, and this video relates to one of the ceramics companies. So let's get started. First of all, a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should that with their own due diligence and research, and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. And I'm not a portfolio advisor, I'm not a member of the NSC and BSC, and that I'm not uh, authorized to give portfolio or stock advice. This is all purely for educational purposes and whatever I have learned over the years, I'm imparting that knowledge to you all uh, of that learning about companies, about the stock market, etc. Uh, so kindly take, take that on note. Any decision of uh, selling or buying into stocks, uh, you should take by consulting your financial advisor uh, because every investment into a market related product is subjected to market risk. So before I talk about uh, this company, I would like you to subscribe and kindly support me on Patreon and there you'll be able to get more content uh, similar of this sort. Uh, plus we talk about global markets, about Indian markets and how they are doing etc. Plus we discuss about sectors as to which sectors are performing and which sectors uh, the money is flowing into you get access to my portfolio etc so you can support me on patreon uh, to get better videos on youtube now let's discuss about this company so let me take you to the screen of website the company in question here is kajaria ceramics uh, a 20,000 crore market cap company a very decent you can say larger mid cap or sort of smaller mid cap Kind of company trading at around 1260 rupees yes the p is slightly stretched at around 5760 but the company is a market leader in the tiles segment and ceramic segment so let me just give you an overview of the company and then we'll look at the numbers etc uh, so if you look at it on on a holistic basis then uh, the company is primarily engaged into manufacturing and trading of uh, a ceramic and verified tiles in India. It is the largest manufacturer of ceramic uh, verified tiles in India and eighth largest in the world. Uh, their product portfolio uh, uh, that includes mainly includes ceramic wall and floor tiles. Uh, you have uh, polished and uh, you can say glazed verified tiles, uh, bathware solutions, and uh, plywood and laminates in FI22. Uh, tiles amounted for 91% of the revenue or, and the rest of the product accounted for 9% of their revenue. A lot of their brands uh, sell big time and they are a branded product uh, that every that is renowned across India and, and globally into many countries. Uh, the company has a well-established uh, dealer network with 1700 dealers including uh, a net addition of 200 dealers in FY22. In terms of manufacturing capabilities, as per May 22, that is last year, the company had a manufacturing, you can say, capacity of 83 million square meters of tiles uh, from its plants located in UP, Rajasthan, Gujarat, and Andhra Pradesh. Uh, so that's one call. Over the last one year, it has expanded. It it undertook, uh, you can say, brownfield expansion at three different units. Uh, which expanded its capacity from 70, you can say MSM per annum uh, to 83 MSM per annum. So that's an increase of nearly 20% and its production capacity uh, remained uh, stagnant uh, since FI18 until uh, this expansion. So probably this is a clear signal as to uh, where the money is now flowing because over the last five years, this is the only expansion that the company has done. And it shows that the demand is kicking in again after four or five years into the ceramic uh, segment. So that's a very big positive. So when you look at the numbers uh, per se, the company has done a reasonably fine. I mean, the, the numbers have been stable. The stock has been doing extremely well. Uh, if you look at uh, the numbers uh, overall in the March quarter, uh, what they did was 1200 crores. Uh, versus 1100 crores in March of 22. Uh, they had an operating profit of 184 crores in, in March of 22. In this time around, it was 176 crores. Uh, so what has happened is that margins have slightly dipped in terms of 200, 300 basis points, but remained around 15%. 
uh, operating income uh, sorry other income remained uh, flat and eventually on the bottom line what they have come out with uh, is a little bit of growth 140 crores of uh, you can say profit before tax versus 136 crores last time around so flattish kind of numbers but what is happening is that from uh, you can say in the last two three months the demand has picked up into the tile ceramics and paint segment and at the same time you have seen that raw material prices have gone down so across the board uh, you have a situation where metal prices and cement prices uh, many other prices across the board has uh, reduced and uh, all raw material prices for for making tiles etc has also reduced you have you have a situation where crude prices have also dipped uh, from around 75 80 dollars to closer to 60 65 dollars per barrel and i think this is going to have a direct impact on the numbers in june and that's why the stock has been uh, performing uh, pretty uh, well uh, in march of 23 so overall on a yearly basis what they have done is uh till about uh, march 20 uh, you can say march 21 the numbers have remained flattish so from 2100 crores 2200 crores in march of 15 if you see here 2200 uh, crores or so uh, the numbers remained quite nearly there 27 2800 crores in 21 and then the numbers picked up uh, 3700 crores in 22 march of 22 and now 4400 crores in march of 23 so this is a good 17 18 percent growth that we are seeing on the top line and similarly on the bottom line there is performance uh, that is coming in because margins have uh, have uh, drawn have, have done well but last year the margins dipped and this is purely because of the higher inflation inflationary pressure because most of the companies uh, were not able to pass on everything all the price high uh, price hikes in terms of raw material costs that they were facing and so uh, the numbers dipped further so from 19 percent in march of 21 as margins it dipped to 14 percent but now i would say uh, that things are picking up in this region as well in terms of balance sheet reserves are around 2300 crores which have doubled over the last five six years uh, the borrowings have increased but not that much 250 crores of you can say borrowings even with the brownfield expansion that we are talking about it has uh, the borrowings have doubled over the last two years but not that huge so we can say that it is a relatively debt free company that we are talking about at the moment uh, in terms of debtor days that has remained stable around 50 inventory days have remained pretty nice because inventory days used to be uh, before the pandemic around 150 days it's down down to 114 days which is again a big positive i would say in terms of uh, inventory days being under control and uh, promoter holding around 48 percent is pretty strong uh, dii's have reduced take and this is quite surprising but that is what has happened that uh, sorry fii's have reduced take uh, from around 25 percent in march of 21 uh, to around 17 percent now in fact in the last one year from around 18 and a half percent or in the last uh, uh, two years it dipped by around three percent or so but on the other hand dii holdings have consistently increased from around 15 percent in in 2022 uh, uh sorry march of sorry september of 21 it has now gone up to 26 uh, percent so from 15 percent to 26 percent dii holding have increased over the last one and a half years as the market has fallen so dis have completely supported uh, the fia selling that has taken place in this stock so it is with the you can say the strong hands public shareholding has uh, has uh, you can say if anything dropped from around 12 12 and a half percent all the way to nine percent now in march of 23 so this is also a positive in in uh, in that uh, respect in terms of uh, negatives i would say uh, that the company is trading at around 57 times earnings which is which is extremely stretched uh, i would say that uh, it should be trading around uh, say 50 45 times but since it's the market leader so that's why uh, the p has got stretched the stock has run up 
over the last you can say six eight months if you <clears throat> if you see all together over the last uh from march of 23 till now in fact in the last uh, two three months the stock has gone up from around thousand thousand thirty to to these levels of 1260 so uh, the stock has run up so that means uh, that uh, the value is not that great as it used uh to be earlier in in in, in this field and so this is a couple of points that you need to take account of and plus you need to understand that crude at the moment is trading at uh, uh, very low valuations and probably going forward crude might spike so that will be a big negative as well so we need to take care of that but yes interest rate cycle is turning around and that should be a positive for all you can say construction companies anything related to construction ancillary etc so that is uh, you can say a plus point uh, to take note of so these are the negatives and positives that i'm telling you about kajaria ceramics uh, buying or selling decisions is all up to you but this is a complete analysis of kajaria that i would like to, uh, to uh, present to you so this is a video on kajaria ceramics uh, please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so you can get my videos straight away when i post it and kindly support me on patreon thanks a lot for watching